to the uh, Deerfield Energy Committee meeting of March 25th. Everybody, let's see, we have Greg Franceschi, Lori Busada, Steve Viper, and M.A. Sweetland, Reed Predmore, and David Gilbert Keith. Hello, everybody. Hi there. Hey. Look at that. Uh, Look at that background, Reed. That's pretty fancy. Ooh, wow. like yeah. Riding the wave. Riding the wave. <laughs> That's right. Um, <clears throat> so, Lori, are you uh, dying to take minutes again? I'm doing it. It's Excellent. happening. Excellent. Thank you. And uh, I think I think we ought to give Lori the honor of officially making her secretary of the. Of the I don't need a, I don't need a title. That's OK. <laughs> Just send money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, meetings in order. And uh, what the heck is on our agenda here? I should look at that. We're there being recorded, sir. Uh, so the minutes of last month? Yes. Are we going to approve those? I, I move that we approve them. I will second that. This is MA. All right. Then okay. um, I guess we should vote. Anybody want to, any objections? No, we just accept the minutes. I, Aye. Aye. Unanimous. And now back to my seem not to have the split screen here. Aggregation update. Anybody have anything to say there? Um, I continue to check the phone. Uh, Jennifer will be glad about that um, since it blinks on her desk. Uh -huh. um, and uh, we've got a call. I think we get a call every couple of weeks uh, on the phone phone the most recent I got a thumbs up um, the most recent one was a woman asking uh, about the street light account and since street lights were going to be more expensive what are we doing and this person had just moved to town and I mean she seemed awfully tuned into what was happening and so uh, turns out she's my neighbor two, two houses down <laughs> but I told, I explained to her that I was pretty sure, and I, and I still am only pretty sure that we uh, took that account. We took the streetlights. We opted out for the streetlight account. Does anybody else uh, hurt and remember anything about that? That the town opted, uh. opted out for the streetlight account. So they stayed with Eversource on the streetlights. Oh, as opposed to going to Dynagy? Yeah. Yeah, because it was more expensive. Yeah. And and so actually that raises for me, I, I never asked this question before. Did is the town, all the other municipal buildings, are they getting the Dynagy discount or yeah. not? Yeah. They oh, are. okay. Okay. So I don't understand why the street lights were more you're talking about the electricity for the street lights was more expensive via Dynergy than Aerosource? Well, because the street lights are not uh, we get charged a fixed amount on streetlights. We don't get charged for usage. It's a monthly charge, and they they are renting you the fixtures, and then they each each uh, loom, you know, the type of lumen it is, depending on how powerful it is, they charge you a fixed amount. Yeah, it's like four thousand forty one hundred hours a year, I think. It's, yeah. And uh, I think the streetlight cost from Eversource was around six or so cents a kilowatt hour and their Dynergy was nine. So, it, you know, saving three cents. Nine yeah. cents. Um, so th this woman who just moved to town knew that. And I'm like, ooh. wow. <laughs> this Get is her on the committee. <laughs> right, she went my slot. <laughs> hey, Rini. Hi, Rini. You're getting close, Rini. We can see your name. <laughs> I arrived. Ah. Hi, Rini. I will not show my picture because I've been out in the yard all day. It looked like <laughs> anyway. No problem. Um, so, Ma, let let me backtrack that a little bit. With with the LED lights, we're still going to get charged a fixed rate per fixture, fixed charge per. 
uh, not usage. But the but the amount of the lumens is way down. I mean, the LED is much oh, lower than you the, get charged per lumen. Well, it, I'm not Reed. You can probably help with this, but it's it's. Yeah, just sorry. I'm on my keyboard twice. Um, well, but get charged for what the kilowatts hours are. Okay. You know, and so if a, you know, if we replace a 50 uh, watt bulb with a 15 or 25 watt bulb, actually, there's some kind of bill in the legislature because right now the minimum charge per street light is like 25 watts. And some of the LEDs, uh, you know, can only be, you know, can be down to 15 or something like that, depending on the application. So that's something that uh, there's a local group, a chapter of the International Dark Sky Association. Uh, and one of the guys in that is really active in the Eastern Mass and is working on that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Okay. Good to hear. So, Ma, any more from this neighbor? Did we? Did she? She didn't volunteer. She said, "Did she uh, buy what you were saying?" Did oh she... yeah, and I told her that we were buying the street lights and stuff, and she was pretty excited about that. Oh cool. But she also said she's not going to serve on any town committees. I asked. <laughs> nice try. It was worth a shot. I know. That's what I thought. Somebody who's really knowledgeable, who's been on a planning board in another town. Come Ooh. on, get busy here. <laughs> so she so, fled to Deerfield to get away from the other town. Right. <laughs> to work on her, man. <laughs> so um, when somebody does move in new to town, will they get an invitation from Colonial? Um, that's, what, that's what that one. That's what that letter is, right, Steve? They're, that's right. what they just sent out as an invitation to all the new people. Right. I don't know. I don't know how often that's done. I think this is the first time that's happened since the initial, you know, enrollment period. But they, my guess is that periodically they'll they'll collect names of people who are new to new to new to the area. Um, I think maybe did they also send letters to people who initially opted out? I don't believe so. No. Okay. I think this is only which I was I was sort of hoping they would, but our newsletter hopefully will do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who who is it that sends it? Is it Colonial or Dynegy? Uh, Colonial. Colonial. Okay. Does anyone know what the rationale is for um, them charging by the street light instead of by usage? Uh, you're talking Eversource rationale. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you're, you're talking I, essentially because each street light is not metered, so they. Uh, Right. Otherwise, you'd have to meter each street light. So they just glom them all together and say, you know, you got 75, 50 watt bulbs, and you know, they're on an average of 4,000 hours a year, and this is what you get charged. Interesting. That went, that works for them. Yeah. I know on North Main Street, there are many that aren't on, so <laughs> they're getting paid. Well, that's, that's what that inventory is going to take care of, too. So that's good. Mm. But how will it know whether they are active or not? Oh, hopefully they inventory at night. Really? Huh. Okay. I mean, they they are supposed to check to see if they're working. We are well, we're jumping a little bit. Um, yeah. because we yes. were on aggregation. <laughs> Green communities is coming up. Do we want to just go to that? Or do you want to talk about the newsletter first? Or ah, the famous newsletter. Yes. <laughs> we got a number, MA. We, we do. Uh, I haven't called it yet. It's a 665 number. So um, that's kind of surprising. I don't, I didn't get the name of a company or anything, just a number. <laughs> no, she did give me the name of the company, I think. Um, but anyhow, I just got it day before yesterday after a, a second or third nudge. So mm -hmm. um, that's good. And uh, I will try and call that tomorrow. Great. And they're uh, going to print it and send it out? Theoretically, they're a whole mailing service, so they do the whole thing. Um, I don't know anything about it, but it's a place that I guess the town has used it before. Maybe maybe Jennifer knows more than I do about it. I guess so. we're going to have to update the draft to be 
April instead of February or whatever we said. Yeah, we have, yeah, we, we probably need to do that spring. I think I, I, yeah, I was going to say, didn't I tell you so? Didn't I say that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was a little nervous about, oh no, it was the <clears throat> volume one that I was nervous about because yeah. it, but implies, all, of it, all of it is. Yeah, implies that it's, um, oh, it's old school. <laughs> what? Yeah. What's happening on Greg Franceschi? Somebody, oh, okay. thinking, oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. I had to find the plug, sorry. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. anyway, though, that's great. So that's moving along. You got- you Well, did... I mean, I hope I wouldn't, I, I haven't even called these people yet. They may or may not be able to do it. I, I don't know, you know, we'll we'll see how it goes, but- uh, And it will be billed to, to the Energy com, uh, Corporation yeah. or what, what am I calling it? The Energy Corporation, yeah. To the energy committee. Okay. So, green communities. Any stuff we need to know now? Since we were just talking. Reed, um, do you know where procurement stands at this point? Uh, you... I mean, I, I, uh, with your permission, I'll check in with uh, Alicia and uh, Berghog and see. I guess the next phase was to get for you know a, a procurement for the survey yeah i remember correctly uh hey something that's i was also thinking of doing was talking to uh chief of police and just asking mm -hmm. uh, him about the concerns about lighting uh, you know just so we have that input you know early on in the process if that's okay um on the 18th, let me see. On the 18th of March, um, Casey responded to Alyssa, and I don't know. It for some reason, uh, David, you and I were copied in, but nobody else. It oh. says that uh, Casey um, rec Casey recommended a cup. Uh, no, um, let's see. Yeah, Casey recommended a couple of changes, um, and and they were they were trying to verify the dates for by when work should be completed and um, when responses should be in. I don't know where that is because they didn't get copied in on a response to that. Yeah, I the, res the responses were supposed to be in by April first. So if that hasn't gone out, obviously that date won't be. So I don't know what Casey said to um, in relation to, um, but work completed by June thirtieth. That's for the survey. Uh, for the yeah the inventory or whatever. Okay. Audit for the, the audit. So okay. this this was a bid. This was a bid for on the audit. Right. It was supposed okay. To have gone out, and they were supposed to respond by April first and have the work completed by June 30th. But Casey, that was a letter, that was a note to Casey from Alyssa. And I don't know whether Casey approved those dates because that was that was that correspondence was happening on March 18th. Okay. So I don't know what happened after that. That's the update, the only update. So do you want me to follow up on that? I think I think finding out if those if that went out would be a good plan. Okay, so I'll, I'll check with Casey and Alicia. Yeah, and, uh, check on the if those dates are are the ones that they you know what dates. Well, they yeah, I'll try to get a of the final RFP or whatever it's called. Yeah. I can ask her tomorrow. So this is uh, asking Casey if she got back on the bid. Yeah, uh, for well, the audit. If the bid the, went street out. Street light audit. Yeah, it was. It, it's under ten thousand, so it's just a question of letting getting that information it wasn't actually a formal bid it was just there was a list there were a list of companies that they were going to get in touch with send it out and see, and see if they got a bid back to those list of companies and those dates were respond by April 1st and um, work completed by June 30th so uh, I don't know what happened after that okay I'll ask Casey tomorrow yeah, okay, thanks. You're okay, welcome. thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so do we know, 
you're saying that Alyssa sent or somebody at FERCOG sent out this scope of work and we're wondering if we got any. Um, no, not, we're, not, not. We're, not, we're not there yet. Oh. We, the scope of work, uh, Casey approved, I think Casey approved the scope of work with a couple of suggestions. And then Alyssa um, said she would make those change, you know, those changes that Casey suggested in the, in the email I just read you and then suggested some dates. And I don't, that's the last, you know, things may have happened. It, I, I'm not saying they haven't, I just don't know. So, okay, so Jen is gonna ask um, Casey and Reed maybe can follow up with Alyssa? No, I think they're good, I think. Oh, okay. I Sorry. think if, if um, Jen- I will ask Casey and then yeah. I'll have Casey follow up with Alyssa and send out an email to all of you. Thank you, Jen. Right, thank you. It's really nice to have you here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, so I guess that's the next step there. Uh, do we want to talk about public education about the conversion? Um, that's a good question. Yes, we probably do. Um, <laughs> and when we were on with Mark, he suggested I contact, uh, was it Chris Collins? Who's the, who's from Montague and is the, the sustainability person for Northampton. And I haven't done that. So I will mm -hmm. write that on my list. Again, this is another list. For on the education thing. I made a proposal a long time ago, but I think Mark wanted me to check and see what Northampton did. So um, I there was mention in the newsletter of this, right? Yes. Okay. That, was, that was their intention, yes. But, so, but there may be that we need to hold, uh, one of the things that somebody suggested at some point was that we have a little bit of, maybe it was you read a pilot um, where they put in a few of these lights. Right. And then people can see what they look like and that's just part of that public education piece. Yeah. So I think, um, I mean, you know, I, I guess part of me wants to, would want to wait till the uh, till we get the audit, oh, so yeah. we have some mm -hmm. sense as to whether, for example, whether we're only not going to do the standing pole lights in Deerfield, for example, before, yeah. so we don't, uh, and and sort of look at. I'm not sure how to go forward. Anyway, so that, you know, I, I would think we want to have a little more information before we do too much at like a, a open public Zoom meeting or something. And, and if you're going to talk to Chief Pachorik, it'd be better to do that first so that we can bring up the and safety. Input. So yeah, I'll go safety. ahead and do that before the next meeting. So yeah. Um, I hate to say that. I don't know. I'm feeling like I'm feeling awkward about like the difference between educating people and asking their opinions. <laughs> no, you don't want to ask questions you don't want the answers to. Right, yeah, and and right. I and I think pilot, it's like, yeah, we could get us in trouble. Or... Right. Well, that's what I'm thinking. It's like we're we're, um, we're doing this. Lots of communities are doing this, and this is the reason why. I mean, I I I feel like if you, I feel like we could get people to think that there's something negative about this. So, well, so, so just, I, what, do you, what kind of, what kind of format are you, would you prefer, I guess, or suggest? I guess I don't even want to open it up to look how nice this light is compared to this light night light. And I'm, I'm like, I want to, and it's almost like these lights are do the job. Thank you, Ray. Um, and Um, hold on a second. My, did you say close the window? No, oh, thank you. Oh, I, that, I hadn't even opened hers. Okay. Mm -hmm. So sorry, I'm still at school. Um, you know, so like, this is the savings that we will get. You're not, you're not in, in favor of the pilot. Uh, I, I don't it. know. I feel like we, we just have to think about how we do it. Um, 
because if we don't tell people that um, that there's a reason to compare, then they might not. Or do I mean, are we nervous that people are going to get all up in arms that wait, these lights aren't we as good as the old ones or something? We weren't on the committee when we started messing with the street lights last time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, I think the idea is, is that it's to tell people that it's going to happen ahead of time and it's okay. not, and they don't get up in arms and, and that they understand what is happening and, the, and why it's happening, as you said but not ask if it's going to happen. Right. That's, right. Not, that's not the question. Yeah. It's that we have a grant. It's going to save this much money. These lights are much better for the night sky, all of that stuff. But then also to show them what they look like. You know, that's what the pilot would do was, it was to put in a few earlier. Well, that, that's yeah. where we, will they look better? I mean, a lot of yeah, people. Yeah, that. that's why I just feel like people will say, oh, are you asking whether we like these or not? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that was that was one of the things that was suggested. So, I mean, that's still. Yeah, that's, I, that's I appreciate thing. the suggestion. I'm just yeah. a little nervous about it. <laughs> yeah, OK, well, yeah, this uh, Kelly B the guy I was talking about, you know, trying to get this bill through the legislature. I think he suggested a pilot program, but I'll, I will contact him about the benefits and drawbacks of <laughs> doing that. Yeah, you know, I, don't, yeah I don't know. The other thing they can do is send them, I mean, Guild, Greenfield, Amherst, all these towns have them. Yeah. And so right. we can point out, you know, if you go, if you're driving up Main Street in Greenfield, look at the streetlights because this is what, this is what we're getting. Well, but I mean, we may, Okay, I have to find out more about it. So you, you said Greenfield has done it? Greenfield has done not every one of theirs, but they've done a, a significant, I think that Main Street, Federal Street, some of the other streets have okay. done it. I know Amherst, Amherst has done it, Gill has done it, um, Buckland. Northampton has done it, I guess. Buck, yeah, Northampton's done it, Buckland's done it. Do you have any sense of, of how they've been received in those communities? Was was there, you know, were people up in arms about the change? Well, that's, that's why I'm going to call Chris Collins from Northampton, because okay. they did a public, the, the, the Mark, Mark, uh, Mark Rubinsky was very insistent that a public relations activity was a good idea public education oh, okay was okay. a good idea that communities definitely um ran into some pushback uh -huh. oh, okay uh, are there choices read in terms of the wattage or the the tone of the light we talked about it being a soft yeah yeah so that's the kind of thing that we would uh, uh, maybe demonstrate it uh, and also maybe some of the shielding so that the light hits the ground and doesn't go up, you know, where it's not useful. So, and if there's, you know, if there are choices in terms of the kind of light, yeah, we could, you know, we could we could set up different ones. And maybe, I don't know how it works, but it would be interesting to, yeah, you know, options. Have, has anybody options. had any trouble with like radio interference or Wi-Fi interference or anything like that? I, I don't I, know. I haven't heard of that. that. Hmm. No idea. I've certainly not heard it. The only thing I've heard about is not to do uh, your uh, traffic lights. Yeah. Emma, yeah. you're not thinking of Wayne Fiden, are you? Who? What? Wayne, Wayne Fiden? I don't know. I just I just Googled the, um, the Northampton planning and sustainability, and I don't see a Chris Collins. Okay. So. I was just thinking that he is a, a, a reporter and a... Hmm. Yeah, I've got the wrong name. It's Chris. It's Chris. Wait a minute. It's Chris. Mason. Oh, it's Mason. Oh, Chris Mason. But he doesn't work for the city. He did. He used to. Oh, okay. Chris Mason. I know but Chris he's Mason. He's also on, from Montague. He was on the Energy Mont Montague Energy Committee for a while. Okay. Okay. I think it, it, I think it's Mason. I think that's no. Word. I yeah. Chris Mason is definitely a. Um, it's not Curtis. It's not Collins, but it might be Mason. Yeah, it might be. Okay. <laughs> Has anyone seen um, these different lights at night? In um, no, I think you know. I think I'll go have to have to go on a road trip and and, and look at them. Excuse me, can I interrupt? I think it's Chris Harris. 
Well, that sounds no. Good. no? Yeah. Oh, no. no, he was helping on the bylaws. Oh, right? Okay, okay, sorry. Oh, no, Curtis, <laughs> Chris Curtis. That's Chris oh, that's, Curtis. That's, yeah, that's a different. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. Yeah, Chris Curtis works with bylaws. Chris yeah. Harris yeah. lives in town in Deerfield mm -hmm. and is on lots of meetings and committees. Yeah. Um, this is Chris Mason, and he does. Chris I Collins Montague does our um, our FCAT is a Chris <laughs> Collins. Right, right, right. right. FCAT um, <laughs> filming and things. So I didn't know if he was also involved. So I didn't want to butt in. But <laughs> is there a is there a um, chat thing? Anyway, they I, they do have a whole web page on LED streetlights, and I was going to just share it with you. Um, there is a share screen option. Well, I could do that, I guess. Let me yeah, let me try uh, that. Turn this over to. Oh. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thanks. Oh, you're turning over to me. Oops. You're in charge now. Uh oh. Ah. Oh, 2016. Can you guys see it? Not that yeah, we have to, yeah. but just just to know that it exists, we can read it more later. But so, um, which uh, which town is it? Northampton. Okay. So this okay. is probably some of their 2016. That's probably this is probably some of their publicity that they were doing. Yeah. What is the entire scope? Um, how will it affect the? How will it affect the city's energy use and budget? Yeah. Um, we could make a little little blurb on our web page, definitely. Yeah. Um, again, I think I think Reed is really right. We, uh, we we're we're quite a ways down. They just yeah 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 yeah. They yeah. wanted us to give send a plan in, and I did send sort of a plan in, and I got I never got any response from uh, Casey or Jen or anybody. So uh, it's just sitting out there right now. Um, I thought they were anxious to have it, but they weren't. Okay, well, um, so there's a lot of good information here. So can just copy okay. that. Um, yeah, and see what see what's but I'll check it out. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for finding that. <laughs> um, should we move on to charging stations? Uh, <laughs> sure. I, I don't know. Um, probably good that I, I don't know. So I just um, asked Kathy, I mean, Casey, um, about the status of Eversource. She says she hasn't heard anything. When I talked to the person at Voltrek, um, he wanted to discuss a new contract. So I just sent Casey back an email. Can I just talk to him and tell you what he says? Because last month when I asked her that, she didn't get back to me. And I know she's got a billion balls in the air. Um, but I just, I feel like we want to, um, I, I feel like we want to nail down the price from Voltrek for the services and the network fee and the, um, you know, the installation mm -hmm. and the charging, charging thing itself. But Casey um, is very wise and doesn't want to do anything until we know what Eversource is doing. So it's like a chicken and the egg, you know, we, we have this grant money and we need to, I think we need to know more about um, what exactly the costs are gonna be, um, but. How much of the grant is dedicated to this? Of the whole green communities? It's only yeah. like less than 8,000. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if we're gonna need another source of funding, I don't know. <laughs> I hope not. I mean, I don't, I know the um, chart, the, Network fee is going up, but I don't know how much. It said that right on the quote that we got. Um, and I think maybe, actually, maybe they're limited to, because they're a vendor that's on the state contract. So maybe they're limited to whatever price they, um, you know, and said when they're on the state contract. Wasn't I'm not there sure. a little email from Casey that someone else was trying to pitch the same thing? Could, could yeah. they? be competition for Voltrek or? Yeah, but it was that one, Lori, remember you said it sounds like just an advertisement. Janet mm -hmm. sent it out to me and then I- Yeah, yeah, so I mean- lots if... of 
vendors out there. Right. We have to go with the state vendor. And since these people are who um, Montague has worked with and who um, Deerfield Academy has worked with, I figure we should yeah. just yeah. keep a look. I mean, it's, they're not local, but <laughs> I mean, they're they're somewhere in Massachusetts. But um, so, okay. yeah, Ooh. so all I yeah, I don't have to put anything new it's still the same <laughs> saving me some typing <laughs> um, but yeah so it, it's tricky because um you know we do the background work and then we wait right <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's that a can be a, it's a really little frustrating pitfall um, if we miss bid deadlines and stuff so right is do we need to sort of have a rubric schedule of, of when things are have to happen? Well, I don't we think could... it's going to be, yeah, I, I mean, and what, who do I go to? Do I email the select board and say, um, or I don't know, well, I wonder even, if... Even Casey, probably if she, if you're there saying, we got to know by Tuesday, um, she would probably yeah, be, being raise the priority of that. I, I think I did ask about because um, there is timing in the original grant, and I think Alyssa said that we don't have to worry about that. I think I'm mm -hmm. not sure if it's just because of COVID or. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, yeah, I re I'm with you. I don't want to lose the grant money. If we have a, if we have a, you know, a, somebody sends us a bid, and then that bid, then we have to start over on the bid because it's expired, and right. you know. It would be right. really nice to progress in a straight line on this rather than going around in circles, which is what I'm afraid you're feeling like and it sounds like. Yeah. I will throw well, out an I think, idea. I think, I think having, you know, calling, have you talked to her on the phone or are you just emailing Casey? Just emailing. I mean, calling. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I think I am going to go ahead and unless she tells me absolutely not to contact this guy myself. Um, last year, I, I'm the one who got the quote from him or whenever it was, yeah. it was like a million years ago. So I think she might be okay with me contacting him and getting back to her. I hope so. I mean, obviously, and then the I can't. The question is saying, I'm, you can email her and say, I'm planning on contacting him by such and such a date. Let me know if you have a problem. <laughs> well, I, I, I phrased it a little differently, but I, I get where you're coming from. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, if she's, I don't feel too bad if she's, I mean, I know she has a million things on her plate. So, I mean, I, so that whole, finally, it took me several nudges on just on the newsletter to find out what we're supposed to do. Right. right. She sent me a phone number. Oh yeah. Um, that's good. After all that work. Yeah. And the other thing I might do is after I talked with this guy, just get him to contact her and copy me on the emails, <laughs> you know, let him do yeah. the nudging. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I just want to throw out this thought um, on, along this line. When the when it gets put in place, I think we should have um, a uh, I'm not sure some uh, I don't know the name of the organization. You might know um, Rini or Reed or maybe you know Ma. Um, there's some organization that does you know test drive an electric car kind of thing. You know, so we might hold an event like that in town at the yeah, high school Sunderland, or something like Sunderland that. Sunderland had an event like that. Oh, they did? Huh. Yeah. Um, it could uh, be sponsored by the Energy Committee. What's yeah. the solar thing that the, I want to say Northeast Solar, but it's it's the thing in the Energy Park. Uh, Nessie? Nessie. They've done, they've done stuff like that, too. Yeah. I, various towns have, have done them, you know, done pro publicity stuff. I think it's, an, I, I assume, it, you, you know, some car dealer brings a car up and lets people test drive them. It's just, yeah, yeah. But, uh, if we talk, I think if we talk to the Sunderland, actually, um, Bob Armstrong knows about it. He's mentioned it a couple of times. I, I hesitate to contact him right now because his wife died, but. Oh um, no. Wow. Yeah, no, no, this is long in the future. <laughs> Who knows when it will. But, uh, but, he, but, you know, he knows he's, he's been sort of announced it. I noticed on the, on the climate crisis, you know, email oh. or listserv. So um, I, I you know that they're that they're happening around and about. So that it's it's people do it. Yeah. Okay. So I just wanted to throw that out there, in case anybody yeah, comes across anything. 
Can I? And, and I think. Can I as we move forward? Oh, I'm sorry. May I no, speak? go ahead. Thank you. Uh, there's also a person I've run into. Her name is Sally Pick. Oh yeah, Hello, oh, yeah. Sally. I, I'm sure she's. I mean, I I can contact her to find out what the. Options. Well, you, sure. You don't need to do it now, though. It's. So well, I understand that, but I'm. I, I'll help with that. Okay. okay. She's That'd a great. wonderful source. She's a, she. She's like a personal, uh, electrical engineer. Uh, consultant for solar and electric vehicles and so on and so forth. She's out of Montague. Yeah. Okay. That would be great. Okay. So should we move on to community planning? I oh, read. Just yeah. one, one quick. Just it crossed my mind when Lori brought this up that um, there was a, a big event. I don't know whether Nessie was involved directly or not, but um, Karen Harold, formerly Karen Jones used to, she organized it. Um, parts of it in Amherst where they did exactly what you're talking about, Lori, and they brought um, they brought some electric vehicles to the common in Amherst. And I got, that was the first time I got to drive one. It was really exciting. Um, but she might have some um, contact information that would, you know, help us find a quick and direct route to um, people that would want to help with that yeah. or that would have access to electric vehicles. What was her, her name again? Have electric Karen vehicles. Harold. She was a, a, one of the original energy committee, Deerfield energy committee people. Uh, Harold? Um, are we, you she guys still live in Deerfield? Reed, had, Reed wanted to say something. Yeah. yeah, I was just looking over the Northampton uh, uh, LED website real quickly. And one thing that they pointed out is that the American Medical Association has recommendations for the color temperature and, uh, and LED street lights. And I'll send out uh, their report to the committee so you have that information. Right. Has it conflict with what you were wanting or is it? Oh, no, no, no. It was uh, the, one of the members on the committee is actually an avid amateur astronomer. So he's, he's on the same page. So. <laughs> All right. You've got spies there. No, I mean, that's perfect. Um, um, I wanted to just ask if either David or Ma, do you um, do you know if Karen is still in town? I haven't seen. I, her. I asked if she still lived in town. I don't I, know. I don't know. Don't know. But Sally Pick will know. I think. I think uh, she's going to be solid on that too. So I and she's. We know where she lives. <laughs> um, I would want to also include. Um, we got to get Steve involved, Lori, with all his electric bicycle creations. Um, the electric bicycle phenomenon is just like taking off yeah, everywhere. It is beginning to take it's so exciting. Uh, I yeah. never rode one before uh, six months ago. Well, that would be for so, the initiation of our bike paths. And I think we could have a whole big bike day. And we can get some people out to show you how to change your flat and da 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 da. <laughs> that's nice. Great. That's a good plan. Great. Yeah. That'll, That'll be, be fine. Great. But we can oh. put cards on our um, spokes and, you know, <laughs> streamers <laughs> on our. <laughs> so how and does the, the meeting of that, Leckman go? Can we have a Yeah, let's go. That's let's what go I was just going to get into. Um, Greg did a great job last night. Thank you, Greg. And thank yeah, you, that was for really, getting there. That was um, an excellent presentation. Very well organized. Yeah. Uh, so I was feeling really the good. opposite. I felt like it was so disorganized. I felt really um, bad afterwards. Hey, you know, the job. I mean, luckily it was about pla a place that they knew. So <laughs> yeah, no, but you had the map ready. It was good. Um, and their response. You want to tell? Well, it was. It seemed like they uh, all seemed like they were fine with trying to do this, and um, the obstacles are obviously financial in terms of the more complicated um, breaking new ground parts of it behind the town hall and you know yeah. building new paths but in terms of the streets um, it was more a logistical thing in terms of just timing and they okayed doing North Main Street and um, Sugarloaf, not Sugarloaf, North Main and South Main and Pleasant Street but um, the concern was that they wanted to make sure that an engineer could look at it before the roads got striped and the striping may need to happen for the other things. 
before that happens. So it might not happen like in this round, but it's in the queue with their- yeah, Excellent. Uh, and and Trevor brought up a good point that they all agreed with, which was that um, with the potential of federal grants coming up, having something in the works that's so-called shovel ready yes, um, might help us land some of those grants. So they, they want to get it started right now and get, get ahead of the game. Hey. So that was, that was encouraging. It was, I was happily surprised. It's tricky. The issue that Lori um, raised about like, you, you know, here we're, we're volunteers. We're trying to get ourselves as informed as we can and trying to get stuff to happen. But then when it comes to the, like the last, um, you know, final and most important step of implementation, we're kind of like dependent on everybody else. But also being at that meeting, just, you know, once again, raised my awareness of all the intricacies of budgets and timing and, you know, managing things and like just looking at that Kelleher project, <laughs> you know, you, you might go gung ho on something and then if it doesn't go the way you want. So, yeah, it, it is tricky because it's I can't imagine trying to get up to speed on like all the details that are in their heads um, of this grant and that grant and, you know, this timeline and this this budget line item and but yeah, I think if we just, but it is really important to um, to just keep putting it out there because, you know, let's see. So, I mean, I don't know if you guys stayed on afterwards when the woman from FERCOG talked about stormwater and talked about pollinators and all those things go together with the, you know, the bike paths and they, she talked about doing drainage alongside the, um, the bike paths where, or, I mean, the sidewalk where the, a lot of the um, infrastructure, like um, I guess, gas pipes and stuff are, but but it can, they can work, they can go hand in hand, and so anyway, it's and and the fact that you know it's part of Complete Streets and part of MVP, it's all tied into that kind of stuff. So I think it's really important to keep mentioning it. So, mm -hmm. kudos, Greg. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Word and upward. Yeah. <laughs> Um, do we have an update on the status of the uh, athletic park project thing? Do we know what? Has there, was there a meeting last, a week, last week? I missed it. It was kind of announced, I think, on that little um, board, uh, but I missed it. You didn't, didn't go, Greg? No. Yeah, so I don't know what that no. update is. Um, yeah. I have to say, this is a little off topic, but I was really surprised that um, that putting in an electric vehicle charging station was kept as one of the conditions at, with the ZBA approving um, a, uh, a special permit for Dollar General. I was surprised because that's one of the things Dollar General is suing the ZBA over. Hmm. And frankly, I, I think it's silly because how long do you stay at a Dollar General? Not, I mean, if you're not going to plug in for, for even 15. But, they, but the same at the grocery store. I mean, they're trying to just get them spread around all over. Well, I don't know. You can end up spending a good half hour at the grocery store, but I can't imagine doing that at Dollar General. <laughs> <laughs> that's because you lack the proper imagination. It's true. It's true. I'm sure some people could, you know, go up and down those aisles several times. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just thought that was interesting. Um, there I, was some, some mention on the news last night of um, retail stores are actually getting built. It's kind of a boom time for retail, but until you notice that they're all Dollar General or the other kind. They're not like Walmart. Okay. Even. All right. Not to distract us. So yeah, yeah. should I just, should I take that off the um, uh, minutes or just put no, no news or I don't know. Uh, I guess no news. Okay. Um, as far as action items and new business, I don't remember any action items that we carried <sighs> over. Uh, I, I should have. 
There was one thing in the you. minutes that said that Steve and I were going to try and work on the documentation for uh, the building permit. Oh, yeah. Info. I will remind us that we haven't done anything about that. <laughs> You're going to promise to remind yourselves. Yeah, right. Which Steve was that? Uh, which, which Steve was that? That was you, sir. <laughs> was me. Uh, I totally forgot about this it. Is, this is in regards to flyers to hand out when people are doing building right. permits for, well for Lori was talking yep. about it for insulating roof you know in, if you're going to get a new roof yep. please insulate it yeah um i don't know it may be more general about yeah and, i don't know. know i just i just started i i feel like um between cet and nessie and you know those organizations there should be some way to some something to start with that we wouldn't have to reinvent the whole thing um hmm. but i did get uh as far as legislative stuff um i don't i don't know if people want if people want um us to share stuff when you see um yeah that's not i i got some interesting thing about that i was supposed to respond to about um uh, Bedford oh yeah Bedford New Hampshire oh okay that that was different that was from the um, pipeline awareness network about um, some coal plant somewhere and then um, so but I don't know the latest I mean do you know the latest about um, the energy bill in Massachusetts yes. yes I just got an email this afternoon well give us the a legislative the update says, the governor says he's going to sign it wow <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be done by the end of the, well, maybe the end of this week or next week. Mm. And, and yeah. do you I'll, have... I'll, I'll pass that around. It was an article uh, that I just got this afternoon. I just read it right before the meeting. So oh, do you cool. know what the name of the bill is? Or? It's it's the roadmap bill. Well, here, just a second. Um, where is it? Let's see. Um, um, this is from the, uh, WWLP.com news, the state thing. It says, Governor Charlie Baker said on Thursday that he plans to sign into law a sweeping new climate policy bill the legislature approved last week after vetoing it. It is called the, um, I, I can look it up on WWE. I, I think it's called the roadmap, the roadmap bill, but okay. uh, climate roadmap. But um, I thought I had a road name for it. roadmap 2030 or something like that. Well, yeah, 2050 because it's oh, for 2050, 2050. Right? Okay. I don't know which. I don't know what it is. But the first. Uh, I thought it had a name here, but it doesn't. He vetoed um, the version of it, though. I'll send. I'll send this out to you, though. I'll forward this to you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I guess if we find something interesting that requires you know, that asks people to respond. It doesn't, you can always delete it, right? If I send you something you don't want, you can always delete it. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, this is um, a little. One, did you say that they did, that they, um, that the governor vetoed the first version of the bill? Yeah, he yeah. vetoed it. And then, and then the, it, um, he vetoed it. Well, he didn't receive it until almost the end of the session. And then he, pocket vetoed it uh and it died because the session ended and so then they the house and the senate got to back together and repassed it in the new session and then and the governor vetoed that and then they passed it again and with some of his with the recommendations they liked of his um but they didn't cave on anything particularly i think and now he says he's gonna He's going to sign it. Hmm. Wonder what he wanted changed. 
It was, um, I think it was the specificity of the 2030 um, targets. There was a lot of pressure from the real estate people that that was going to. The bill reduce, includes additional steps. The demand for housing. We changed it from 2030 okay. to 2030 something. No, so it says the bill includes additional <laughs> steps like incremental goals every five years to reach a 50% reduction in emissions by 2030. So that's just five years from now, you know, to have the goal before meeting the 2050 goal. And it will strengthen protections for environmental justice communities, which is great. Um, yeah, so there's, yeah, there's a bunch of articles that I just found something on MSNBC. Yeah, there's, it's, it's big news. So isn't it big news cool, too cool that we have a black um, mayor of Boston? Yeah. Black yeah, woman. Yeah, really get a hot topic. Yeah, yeah. But yes. All right. <laughs> um, one other thing that I guess is uh, unanticipated, except it comes up every year, uh, we're, it may be too late, but we're supposed to submit a, oh. a record of who the heck we are for the town meeting thing. Um, it would be cool to do because... There, what, what things do we want to include? Just summarize that newsletter. <laughs> yep. Okay. You know, yeah. I, that's, I think. Does that mention the LED project? Yeah. 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 And yeah. the charging stations. And I think it mentions the landfill and the aggregation. Yeah. There we go. That's okay. it. So schedule next meeting. And it, <clears throat> and it means it means we're getting that newsletter out there more than once, which is excellent. All right. Yeah. yeah. So you just have to. What do you think? You just format it in the however they. Um, yeah. I'll just, I'll write something and hope that I'm not too late. As... Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll hope I'll you do that. I'll try to do it tomorrow. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so next meeting, when do we want to meet? Uh, 29th? So 22nd or 29th, which is. Let's, let's do the 29th if we could. The 22nd is a, a school vacation week and. I might do something. You never know. <laughs> it's Earth Day, so we shouldn't touch that, right? <laughs> oh, it is Earth Day. I know. I don't know who put Earth Day on school vacation week all the time. That's annoying. Uh, but it happens a lot. It's all. Oh. It's always on vacation week. But um, so Thursday. So the twenty. Is that okay with people? Twenty nine. Four thirty. Yep. Same time, same place. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Good. Okay, so I will send this to everybody. And uh, do we have a motion to adjourn? Oh, yeah. So I'll move. Second. Second. No later. And aye, thank aye, you aye. all for being here. <laughs> oh, we have to vote. Oh, we have to vote to adjourn. <coughs> Is oh, it really? unanimous? Do we vote by just closing our seats? <laughs> <laughs> uh i'm i'm for leaving all right thank you all thanks uh, everybody thank you. great meeting and and once again thanks greg for a good job last night a good idea and a good yeah job. yeah really good you rolled with it yeah, yeah.